I just love the chart. You can actually walk on it. It's beautiful. There it is. Now listen to me. Everybody knows the book of Revelation. And 1710 is the one is, is the Roman Empire. And it's depicted already in the ten toes, right? And there's a little horn there. Watch. We've got a colossal statue, head of gold. I mean, you're talking about, listen, breasts of silver and thighs of brass, legs of iron, and in the end days, a divided kingdom. And... Ten toes. Wow. It's Babylon. The angel says so. And the rest of the story is pretty much said so by the angel without interpreting too much. LOL. Daniel 7 just repeats the same thing. But this time, there's beasts. Ugly beasts. And it starts with the lion. It says it's Babylon. The bear. It says it's Persia. I'm not adding anything to anything. And then the four-headed leopard. It clearly is a picture of Alexander the Great because the following chapter we have a he-goat and the ram. And everybody knows, including secular society, it's a coming prophecy of Alexander the Great. And my friend, the last beast is so ugly he couldn't even describe it. But that last beast is foretold all over the book of Revelation and Daniel and the Bible because he's driven by the man of sin. Listen to me. <gasps> There's a woman that sits on that beast. It's church and state driven by the devil. Oh, listen to me. Watch the... Babylonian lion was plucked out, but the roots were left in the ground. We're all influenced by Babylonian history, religion, etc. And it was defeated by the bear. The bear stood on one side, had three ribs. There were three kings, three provinces, and the Persians overthrew the Medes or just became stronger. And then they were overtaken by Alexander the Great when the he-goat from the west pounded on the ram with the two horns. Remember? The two horns, the Medes, the Persians. Listen, the four-headed, ooh, nasty leopard is found again in Daniel chapter 11. And it says... The kingdom of that man was divided into four. We know it's Alexander the Great. They were overthrown by Rome. And there he is in the statue, Caesar. Listen to me, the emperor. But he's a picture of the Antichrist, just as the little horn of Daniel is a picture of the Antichrist. There's a kingdom coming, my friend, driven by the devil. Listen to me. It's got ten horns and seven Heads representing seven predecessor kingdoms. Listen, ten horns in the last days. And listen, on top of it is church and state. But listen, the key verse to Daniel is the rock. The, not the actor. Our Lord Jesus Christ is coming back to build a kingdom. Because in the days of these kings, a stone right out of heaven smashes it and blows it all away. All of it is beautifully described and it's outlined and it's gorgeous. Let's play.